Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a good day. My name's Bob and you might be wondering why we're on this screen instead of the base archive screen. It's because this is my second time recording this video. Where um, the first time I bought all the skins, all my reactions were there. But the problem was, is that I had a setting on that made it so my audio wasn't picked up. So I got that sorted out and we're here now. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a little rundown of the skins like I normally do. I also have some announcements at the end, so make sure you stay tuned for that revolving around the channel. So yeah, first thing we got is this Lucio skin. I think it's really good. I think Lucio's kind of deserved a sort of a, like a punkish, like more rock kind of skin, because he's a very um, liberty, freedom, uh, chill character. So I think giving him a skin that goes against that is a really interesting design. Now the Camouflage Mercy, I love I love the outfit of the skin. I love the outfit and the setup. The only thing I don't like is the hair. I think they should have kept. Let me go to Mercy. They should have kept her base ponytail. I think because, like, yeah, she wouldn't be camouflaged technically with that, with the ponytail sticking up. But I still think that it is a better design than this. Um, let me talk to your manager haircut she has right now. And now we got the sub aquatics and yada. This is a nice skin. Zen's been getting a lot of skins recently with like the Christmas skin. And now this one, but I do like this one. I like the way that his orbs have like water damage and they're rusted. And the blue glow really adds to um, sort of the light blue color on the orbs. And then going to the legendaries, we have the Bishu Genji. This skin. This skin's pretty good, I'll admit. It is um it is good. I'm not the biggest fan of this, like I'm not as high as some people on it. They were like, Oh my god, this is the best skin ever, this is the best Genji skin ever released. It's not. It's it's just not the best Genji skin ever released, is it? I think it has a bit too much padding, but when I saw this in first person, it is a lot better in first person. And I'll show you what I mean in a bit. Then we've got Soldier seventeen seventy six. It's a good American Revolution joke there, I think it is. And um, yeah, I really like his outfit. His hat's cool. Overall, it's just really cool. This gun is really nice as well. The guns, this patch, and the weapons this patch are really slim. Like, they're really slim and they don't take up much area, which is very good. Then we got the literal cavalry tracer skin. Like, it's about time the cavalry's here. She's been talking about it for the past five ish years. But yeah, I think this is another nice skin. Again, based off the old um, English army from the colonial days. Was it the colonial days? I don't know. I, it's been a while since I've been in school. But I'm back next week, sadly. <laughs> we had a cavalry skin. Really nice. I like her outfit. It's all cool. I have no complaints with this skin. And the, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. But the, um, the French skin for Widow. <laughs> ah, yes, the French skin for the French character. Um, I think it is really cool. Um, this gun actually looks like more of an SMG than a, than a sniper rifle. Like most of Widow's guns would look like um, delicate sniper rifles, but this one just looks like something you could go guns blazing and in, running into the middle of the team. Which, if you're in my lobbies as Widow, you probably already do that. And this this is my favorite skin, the Zarya skin. She looks like a knight or like one of those characters from How to Train Your Dragon. It's almost a uh, um, Scandinavian esque like history sort of skin, which I do like because Archives, of course, has the theme of like lore and the history of Overwatch. So throwing in some IRL history is also pretty cool. And let's take you into the practice range here, give you the once over on the skin, just see how um, see how they look in first person. Now. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying so far. My upload schedule has been a bit whack. I haven't uploaded since the Lunar New Year event, which was late February. Apologies for that. I'm going to try and get more on track because what I'm planning to do, I'll say it at the end of the video, actually, I'll keep you in anticipation. So now we got the Zarya skin. This gun is pretty slim, I'll admit, which is only a positive. But, um,. I think it looks really nice and it really suits her. Sort of this um, almost like Scandinavian sort of warlord almost kind of skin really suits the character of Zarya. Of course she wants to be like very strong. She was um, the strongest woman in the world but she gave that up to fight in the Omnic Crisis. That's the lore behind Zarya for you. But now 
I think that this is um, really good. You can almost see a sort of dragon on the top of her gun. You can see like a dragon's head, which she looks like someone out of like How to Train Your Dragon, those movies from DreamWorks. And yeah, that's the Zarya skin. I don't really have much to say about it. It's just general really nice skin and my favorite one. Now the Genji skin. I think this one looks really nice in first person. Um, it's it's pretty nice. It has the um, the gold guns I have on this right now. I think suited the best. Like these have really nice gold guns. But overall, oh, I messed it up. Okay, I really messed that up. But just whatever you do, do not emote with the skin. <laughs> yeah, it's its body is not the prettiest. And then we have the. Soldier skin, Soldier 1776. This is a really nice skin, I think. The gun on it's just really nice. It's simple, like it's a simple mold, but the actual design on the gun is a lot more complicated, which doesn't actually take away from the skin because it's not interrupting anything. And it's um, okay, grammar Bobby. And it's like pretty slim, as I said already. I'm having a mental brain fire. But yeah, you can see like the um, designs. This gun would be wooden, but I have the gold gun on, so it doesn't look like that. But just under this is like a brown wood color, which I think it's okay, but I think the gold does suit it better. Now, we got the tracer skin, which I do like. Now, I think the levers on the far left and right of the guns are, um, they're a bit like, they take you off of the um, aim. They're a bit, they sort of jut out too much, almost. But other than that, I don't really have any complaints. No, it's pretty nice. The skin looks nice. It's all just really nice, this. <laughs> it's all just really, like, pleasant skins, this Archives event it is. But now we have the Widow skin, where the only concern I might have with this is, um, the hat's a bit big. I, I like I the gun, I really like the gun, but the hat's a bit big, and I might be wondering, would that drag someone's eyes towards her head a bit more, making it easier to land a headshot, is my only question. But I don't really know for sure about that, because of um, you can't actually change skins on this. So let me, let me pull up Widow. So you see Widow, she normally has her thing there, but instead you have the hat. And you can see the feather goes actually a bit higher than her ponytail so you're kind of just you kind of just stuck with that it's just kind of something you have to deal with and there isn't any other skins I don't believe unless I missed one I didn't I have the emotes too I'll show you the quick draw for Jesse McCree here this is one of my this is like my second favorite but this, I still love this the Bastion one is my least favorite one I'll show you that now it's the bird feeder. It's still a really adorable one, but it's just that the other ones are just either really funny or really cool, in my opinion. Because he throws down some bird seed, Ganymede eats it. It's pretty good. But then you pull up the Reaper one now. I love this one, the gauging options. <laughs> Shotgun's too small. This shotgun, like the size of his head. And then he pulls out the good ones. And he can either go ah or yes when you're in it. Like it's kind of it's those little things where like the voice lines change every once in a while. It's really nice. I like it when developers do that because it shows that they really do care about these little changes. Like they didn't have to add. They could have just had the laugh there, but they decided to add an extra one or two voice lines. And I think that just shows the care of the Overwatch team, despite some of the stuff. <clears throat> but yeah. This is overall pretty good emote. Um, the emotes are good. The purple skins are good too. Everything, everything's just good this event. Everything is good. The only thing is that you are still getting the same three um, story mission events, which I think should be expected because of, um, of course, they're working on Overwatch 2 at the moment, which is going to have a lot more story events. So normally I'd probably complain more if there wasn't. But at the same time, I do get it. So, for a little announcement surrounding the channel, um, I'm going to try and upload a bit more, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to try and play more story-based single single player games, is what I'm planning to do. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, please put them down in the comments section, it's appreciated, I'm taking all suggestions, I have a few in mind already, but I'm not entirely sure, I'm kind of looking for ones that are a bit structured, like level to level. 
so because I can't upload videos past um, past 15 minutes because I'm not verified and there's a thing with my account where I actually can't physically do that so all of my videos have to be under um, 15 minutes long so if there's a video that if there's a video game that can be divided up like that so you can have like a part one part two part three sort of setup I'd appreciate that so maybe something like Detroit become human or um, hell like I probably won't play this game but Undertale stuff like that just stuff that's easily dividable easily digestible so yeah that's the current plan I'll be taking all suggestions if you do drop a comment or a like it's much appreciated because they help out small creators a ton not even just me if you find any small creator and even if you only think their video is okay still leave them a like and a comment I guarantee you they will appreciate that so much more than your typical big youtubers your PewDiePie's your Mr. Beast your dreams stuff like that the smaller creators really do appreciate that so if you did enjoy drop a like subscribe if you want to see more content and yeah it's been a pleasure as always I hope you all have a good day